So I'm taking a look at this uh, Litra Beam from Logitech today. This is kind of a, like a zoom webcam type of light. Um, and I've got this configured a little bit differently than it comes out of the box. And I'll uh, talk about that in a second. Uh, you can turn it on with uh, buttons that are on the back of the light, but it also comes with an app. And you can just go ahead and click on that. If I do that, you see it turns right on. And then uh, you have a few other controls in the app itself. You have some presets which will just uh, give you a different combination of these two settings here. Either the temperature will get warmer. So let's go like really warm. I think the camera might be fixing some of these things in the white balance. You know, more towards the center and then all the way cool. And all the way cool is 6,500 Kelvin. All the way warm here is 2,700 Kelvin. And here you can also adjust the uh, brightness. So you can go down to 1% which is that, and I'm gonna go right to 100%, which really lights up uh, the room quite a bit. Uh, and this is a 2700 Kelvin too. So let's go right around uh, 40, let's go 4,100, 4, 4,000. And so it's, uh, this one's like a nice medium kind of color. But again, you have all these presets here uh, and you can see if any one of those uh, makes sense for you. And if you like your own combination, you can create your own preset. Uh, so this is the Mac app. It also comes with um, this uh, icon in the toolbar, but the only thing you can do here is launch G-Hub or quit. So that's G-Hub is this right here. Uh, it doesn't have any ability to you know, turn on and off the light just by virtue of uh, this uh, little icon up here. Even if you right click on it, all you get is this. So um, you're, you're going to be opening this app to use it, but it's still more convenient than getting up and uh, adjusting it, especially if you want to see yourself uh, in, on the screen as you adjust the light to make sure it's just right. You know, this will allow you to do that. No problem. Uh, so this light is, as you can see, it is a wide light and a thin, so it's a strip light. And I like this better for softness on the face. Uh, more so than like the little cubes or little squares or small rectangles. This definitely casts a softer light uh, than any of those. It's not going to cast a soft light like a light box like this, which I use for educational videos. But for Zoom videos, uh, this is really uh, convenient, not a whole lot to set up. And it definitely casts a softer light because of that width. And you can position this either horizontally the way I have it here, or you can go vertically with it as well. Uh, and you could just twist it however you uh, wish on the on the quarter 20 mount. Uh, it comes with this extension arm. Uh, and so you can lower it uh, or make it go higher. And that just goes right into this arm that's part of it as well. This mounts on a base, which is this. As you can see, I'm not using it, but this is a weighted base. It's actually a really nice uh, weight to it. No problem supporting uh, this kind of a lightweight light. Uh, again, quarter 20 uh, mount, which is just a small photography mount. And um, you just go ahead and screw the base onto there. And then you can just position it where you want it, make it go up and down. For my purposes, I wanted the light to be a little bit higher because I wear glasses and I don't like it to be at eye level where it reflects off your glasses. So I like it to go a little bit higher into the side. And this off of the way my setup is with my computer monitor isn't tall enough to uh, get it up above my glasses and to the side. So I mounted it on this other stand that I have. And this is already taller to begin with, as you can see. And then with this extension, and of course I have two more extensions here, I can get it to the height that I want. So this is not in the box, obviously. I think this uh, will work for a whole lot of people, uh, depending on what your setup is, but also it might not work for some people. Uh, so you have this option here. You can also, I, I'm using this stand so I can move it around a little bit, but you can also, again, it's just a standard photography mount, a quarter 20 mount. So you can put it on a clamp, uh, a lot of different ways to actually mount this light if um, this base doesn't work for you, but the light does. So anyway, that's the uh, quick look at the uh, Logitech uh, Litra Beam uh, light, again, for Zoom meetings. Um, I think with the adjustability, the ability to control it from your desktop so you can see how it's looking on your face before or without having to get up and readjust it. 
I think that makes it uh, a worthwhile uh, light. So uh, definitely recommend. Wish the price point was a little bit lower, like maybe uh, 79 versus 99, something like that. But uh, again, with a well-known brand and a light that works uh, really well, uh, like this one does, nice long USB-C cord. Uh, I think it's uh, still a very worthwhile uh, purchase. Hope this helps you guys out.